Hey guys, how's it going? Um, hope you're all enjoying your Thursday. Uh, it's been pretty boring for me, just been working. But um, before I get into the video, I just want to apologise for the haziness of the water. I've had this film developing on the top of the tank, and I've just pointed all the outlets up, and it's slowly clearing. I've got the internal filter blowing out there, and the external filters blowing out there. It's slowly clearing but it's causing the whole tank to go a bit hazy. So um, I apologise for that. Um, I thought I'd do follow up on the um, fish species care. I did the golden nugget pleco beforehand. Uh, this week I thought I'd do the Corydora Sturbi or Sturbi Cory. Depends on your pronunciation. Um, there are 12 of them in this tank. They are great community fish, I can't recommend them higher. Um, they're just really playful to watch. They're always busy eating, there's one there. They're always out and about, they're not shy or timid fish. Um, they get along with most fish. Well, pretty much all fish, it's not anything they don't get along with. Um, they can accept a wide range of, range of pH. Um, there's one there actually. Oh no, he's gone. Maybe not. Um, yeah, wide range of pH. Uh, they're actually omnivores. Uh, I've heard people say they're herbivores, but from personal experience, when feeding discus, um, I put in the beef heart and they munch out on that, so they're omnivores, I've figured out. Um, and they accept a wide range of food. They will eat flakes if they sink to the bottom. It has to be something that goes to the bottom of the tank, so. Um, I try and feed them up here, I don't know if you can see, I'll just grab it, oh, or drop it on front of the tank, I've got this, these are vegetable sinking pellets, perfect, they're just really easy, all the fish love them, um, i also got, I don't know, a bit dark, got a whole array of food and everything, but yeah, really easy beginner fish, I'd recommend them as a beginner fish. I'd recommend to get more than four, at least, because they are a shoaling fish. They'll feel more safer in um, groups. I've got twelve. It's quite a big tank, but I recommend minimum of minimum of three. I'd say three, but um, all of them are hiding at the moment. I can't find any. Oh, no, there's one over there. But um, these aren't fully grown. They will get to about two and a half, three inches. These ones are about an inch and a half at the moment. But um, Really sociable fish, really happy fish. There's a couple there. Um, they can be quite expensive. They are some of the more expensive um, quarries. These are about they were about six pound a fish. So when you get twelve of them, that adds up. But I reckon they're well worth it. There's a big group of them back there, and um, they're good for cleaning out the substrate as well. They just munch out on any leftover food. I would recommend getting quite a fine substrate because the uh, the bristles on the front of the fish they can get broken off if you have like quite large substrate. But um, I mean this is quite small gravel, so this is fine for them. But um, yeah, I wouldn't really go any larger than this. I mean they prefer sand, so they can sift through it. But I'm not going to change the whole of my substrate for. 12 fish, I mean, that'll be a lot of work. But yeah, everything's going well. Hope you guys are all having a good week. Everything else is fine. Everything in that tank's fine as well. Um, I'll be keeping the videos coming, guys. Hope you're enjoying them. See you later.